Hi everyone, welcome back to today's episode of Glitz and Glitter. I've got something to test today. So a company called Nick Pro has sent me these eight colors to test. These are chameleon powders and they asked me if I would test them and I said, sure, I would love to do that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test these eight colors in this tiny mold. These are my little magnet freebie molds. What I'm gonna do is put one color in each one, however I do it, and I'm going to fill them all with black. Once those are cured, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put the colors back in the mold and I'm gonna fill them all with white. And then we're gonna compare side by side how these ones do with back filled with different colors. So I'm just going to get these all out of the box. And here's a little sample of the colors they are. So we'll go through them as well. And I will link everything below if you like them, you'll be able to reach out to them to get these. I don't know if they have different sets or if this is the only set, um, but there are eight in this one. So this one is red, blue, and purple. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna start with the lighter colors because I'm gonna use the same brush. I will like rinse, not rinse the brush, but I'm going to just wipe it on a paper towel. So I wanna kinda of start so they don't all blend together. So we're gonna do them kind of in this order, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna brush it off. I don't wanna wet and I don't wanna use eight paint brushes. So I'm just going to paint these on. We'll see how much you need as well. And it should stick right to your silicone. You shouldn't have to do anything because mica powders just naturally stick to silicone. So we'll see how well they stick and we'll see how well they look with black and white behind them. Okay, so a couple things that I've noticed. You're going to dip in as many times as you do with your normal chameleon powders. It took like three dips, I think, per little section, and these are about not quite an inch by an inch. Um, they are very sparkly in the mold, so I'm hoping they come out very sparkly in the resin. And I think, well, like I have the intense mica powders from Let's Resin as well, and those spread really far, but again, they're way more pigmented. So these, like I said, these spread kind of like your normal um, chameleon powders that you would get from another brand. So 
I'm going to get some black resin mixed. I'm using my Let's Resin 4 Hour Fast Cure because I am impatient and I want to do this and I'll even probably still stick it in my curing machine because 4 hours is not quick enough for me. Well, especially when I want to do something on two different ways with something. So I'm just going to mix up my pigment paste and get this poured in. And like I said, I will probably pop this in the machine to get this cured in an hour or so. These are very small, so they shouldn't take the whole three hour session that these curing machines automatically run. Nice and deep, no transparency. That's what we're testing, the transparency. That looks good. Let's get this in. Whoops. I don't know how much I need because I don't remember how much these hold. So one thing I did not do was tap the extra powder out only because it didn't matter. The backs are going to be covered anyway. So definitely tap it out. I don't even know why I'm doing this because I'm going to put magnets on the back. So I'll get this cured and then we'll pop them out. They're done. I said it would take an hour. It took an hour. They are cured. I took them out of the machine. So we're going to go over one by one and I'll tell you what color is what in case you have a special color that you like. So the first one, and I kept these in order for the next one. Oh gosh, maybe I did. Oh yes, I did. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, we'll go with this one. The first one is going to be red, orange, and yellow. And I'm going to put the colors in the exact same spot. So I'm just going to set them aside so we can compare them on the next one. So red, orange, and yellow. Let me grab a piece of paper. That might help. Hang on a minute. Is that better? I'm not sure if it's better or not. It's very, very nice. Red, I see the red, I kind of see the yellow as you move it, although my lighting. So yeah, that is color changing. So that's red, orange, and yellow. I'm gonna set that aside. The second one is red and green. Oh yeah, that's definitely red and green. I don't know what I can hold this up against. I'm not sure if this white does it. You can see the red and the green. Very pretty. Very shiny like I was hoping. So that's that one. Number three is green, gold, and blue. Green, gold, and blue. Definitely see the gold. I could see the blue. I do see all three colors. It might be better in the sunlight, but it is 8 o'clock at night here, so I have no sunlight. So that's the green, the gold, and the blue. Oops. Number four. Gold, green, and blue. 
Well, that's weird. Same colors, different order. Huh, that's strange. Let's see if they look the same. <laughs> they kind of look the same. Probably because they say the same color, but they look different in the bottle. That is strange. I don't see the blue much on this one though. More gold. I'm gonna keep these in the right order, even though they kind of look the same. Okay, this side, blue, purple, red. That's this one, which did spill a little bit when I was moving it, so don't worry about that. I'll trim that off. So blue, purple, and red. I do like how pigmented they are. They are very pretty. Nice. Number two on this side is blue and green. That's pretty too. I almost see a purple though. I don't see a green, I see blue and purple. That's strange. Huh, okay, well, it is what it is. Number three on this side, red, blue, purple. That's this one. Yep, I see the red, I see the blue. I'm not sure that I see the purple though. It's very pretty either way. And the last one is going to be purple, red, and green. Oh, I like that one. That one looks cool. I really like that one. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint them. I'm not gonna bore you with fast forwarding all that. I'm gonna paint them in the exact same colors in the exact same spots, because they are sitting over here so we can compare them. Then I will come back and pour in white. This time I'm gonna be smart and put it in my tray before I move it so I don't have it spilling while I move it over there. So we're just going to get the white mixed up, get it in, and give it an hour to cure. We don't need much, we don't even need that much. I, I know how much it takes now. I had a little extra resin from the last batch, so I made some mermaid tails out of them. And I will show you them in a minute. I mean, they don't look any different, it's just a different shape. So that is definitely opaque white. I'm excited to see if there's gonna be a big difference. A lot of people ask, what, why do I have to always back in black? And do you always have to back in black? I've done this video before with the different powders. So here it is again with this brand, but no, you do not have to always back it in black. It depends on what look you're going for. I'm curious to see if this actual brand is going to change um, with the backing colors. So let's just pour these white ones really quickly so they can get curing might have this video done in one day. That would be amazing. bit of drips left over. Not that much. Okay. 
Okay, wipe my hands. And I will show you, let me move this out of the way and I will show you the mermaid tails. Here's one of them. I don't really remember which color it is because well, obviously it's purple and blue. Maybe purple, blue, and green because that's super pretty. And then I did this one, which looks like well, this was something else. This is not part of it, so ignore that line. That was in my mold from another paint. <laughs> So since that was touching the silicone first, it came out onto the resin. And then I chose this blue, I don't know. I, they were three definite different ones. So this one was probably that one. And I'm not sure. This is probably that one, I'm not sure. This mold is not as shiny as the other mold. I did have extra resin from a river table pour that we poured in here. And I'm not going to unmold this on that kind of a video because um, special people usually, not special, but a certain type of person watches the river pours. So I didn't wanna put this kind of a unmolding in a river pour video because that's more of a teaching video. So I'm gonna unmold this one with you guys as soon as I get my gloves off and see what this one looks like. That's the green color we had poured in part of the river pour. Oh. So let's get this out since it's cured and it's just sitting here waiting. See what this one looks like. And I'll probably edge this in some kind of a color. I had three ounces left to use with something and I know that this mold takes three ounces, so didn't really want a green conch shell, but that's what we're getting. It's still a little soft, I see. Well, yeah, it's only been a, hmm, maybe six hours. <laughs> I forgot I just did this today. I probably shouldn't have demolded it yet, but yeah, see, it's a little mushy, but it still came out good. What do you think about that color? I think I will put some gold, maybe mm, copper on this one. I think I'm going to try this copper one. This is a chrome marker by Let's Resin. Let's see what that looks like. I keep going in there, but that's part of the resin. So let's see how copper looks. I think it looks pretty good. If you ever don't like a, a paint pen on your resin, just get some alcohol and just rub it right off. It'll come off. I think that makes it a lot nicer. Okay, be back when it's cured. Right, they're ready. This was not even an hour, so I guess the other ones were probably done before that. So let's get and hold them up. Oh, there is a difference. This is white, this is black, obviously. Definite difference. So I bet there's probably a difference with clear It'll be a lighter than this one. So let's put these with each other. Go to the next one. Oh, this one came out. The green is not the major color when it's backed in white. The red is, even though it doesn't really look red, it looks peach. 
So to get the colors that they actually say, you have to back in black. Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at that. What a difference. Remember these? This was the bluish one that had the same color as the other one. Very, very different in white. Very different. Whoops. Same as this one. A whole different color shows up when you back it in a different color. So you may just be surprised when you guys demold your stuff with different colors on the back. Check that out. Wow. Very different. Same as this one. There's not much color change when you back them in white, I could say that. And I would say if you back them in clear, it's probably going to be a couple shades lighter. Almost like a pastel. Oh wow, this one's really different. That is incredible. Wow, I hope you guys are learning something. This one is majorly different than my first video that I did on chameleon powders. I hope you guys got something out of it, especially you new people that are into resin. This should answer a whole lot of questions. That is shocking. So I will get you down. Take some screenshots of your screen if you want to keep this in your mind when you're doing chameleon powders. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you learned something new. Go out of your box, box try something different. I will see you all tomorrow. You guys all have a blessed day. Bye.